operations we will try to prove shear strain gamma is equal to cot phi plus tan phi minus alpha where phi is your shear angle and alpha is my rack angle okay so phi you can calculate by using this formula tan inverse r cos alpha over 1 minus r sin alpha here r is the chip thickness chip thickness ratio so it is t over tc and vc over v lc over l and its value is always less than 1 so how to prove the shear strain cot phi plus tan phi minus alpha so here suppose this is my work piece and this is my single point cutting tool and the thin layer deformed like this so thin layer deforms like this along the shear plane o a so all layers deforms like this along the shear plane suppose this is my o and this is my a and this is o this is my a suppose a dash and here is this is my a double dash so a dash deform along the shear plane up to the a a dash so this comes take outside it is like this so o this is like this a a dash okay along the shear plane this is my shear angle so this is my shear angle and this is here is the normal and this one is my rack angle so this is rack angle alpha and this one it will be 90 minus alpha so this angle will be pi minus pi by 2 minus alpha minus phi is equal to pi by 2 minus common area so yaga phi minus alpha minus minus plus or minus common area phi minus alpha so this angle is my pi by 2 minus phi minus alpha now this is the this deform a deform up to the a dash so how to find out the shear strain if you know the strength of material suppose a shear force suppose this is a a dash a a dash and it deforms like this under the influence of the shear force a double dash so we take to find out the shear strain tan phi is equal to a a dash over a a dash a double dash a this one a dash over normal value this is the normal value so similarly here we will project the normal from o to up from o to this is my o n o n is the normal this is 90 degree and this one is also 90 degree so in this right angle triangle and we have a two right angle triangle so with the help of these two right angle triangle shear strain is nothing but it is a a double dash over o n so we can write a n plus n a a double dash over o n is equal to a n over o n plus n a double dash over o n so a a n a n over o n in this right angle triangle a n over o n is nothing but this is cot phi base upon perpendicular so this is my cot phi n a double dash over this one so this is my base and this is perpendicular so this is cot phi pi by 2 minus phi minus alpha so from here this is cot phi plus 10 phi minus alpha so this is the shear strain okay so this is my shear strain value so shear strain it comes finally shear strain it comes the expression comes shear strain it comes shear strain gamma is equal to cot phi plus tan phi minus alpha suppose shear strain rate nikalna hai shear strain 
rate so gamma dash so this is d over dt over according to the expression a a double dash over o n ठीक है ये मैंने बनाया था o a और ये आपका a double dash था यहाँ पर इस पर हमने perpendicular drop किया था n so a a dash over o n so this is derivative of d over dt a a double dash over o n a a double dash क्या है हमारा ये सीयर लेंथ है एल एस सीयर प्लेन लेंथ ओवर ओ एन परपेंडिकुलर तो सीयर प्लेन लेंथ क्या देगा वी एस सीयर वेलोसिटी ओवर ओ एन तो ये मेरा आ जाएगा सीयर स्ट्रेन रेट तो सीयर स्ट्रेन रेट इज नथिंग बट सीयर वेलोसिटी ओवर परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस सो इन दिस वे यू मे कैलकुलेट द सीयर स्ट्रेन एंड सीयर स्ट्रेन रेट हेयर I also want to explain the relationship between shear angle phi lambda and alpha right angle. So according to according to according to relationship relationship between phi lambda and alpha. Phi is my shear angle. Lambda is your friction angle. Angle and lambda is rack angle. Okay, so according to E. Ernst and Merchant theory, this relation comes to phi. प्लस लैमडा माइनस एल्फा इज इक्वल टू पाई बाई टू ये बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट रिलेशनशिप है जब आप नुमेरिकल सॉल्व करोगे अकॉर्डिंग टू मर्चेंट थ्योरी अकॉर्डिंग टू मॉडिफाइड मर्चेंट थ्योरी सो ये आता है टू फाइव प्लस लैमडा माइनस एल्फा इज इक्वल टू सी एम सी एम इज मशीनिंग कॉन्स्टेंट मशीनिंग कॉन्स्टेंट थर्ड है हमारा अकॉर्डिंग टू ली एंड सेफर तो ये आता है फाइव प्लस लैमडा माइनस एल्फा इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाई फोर और अकॉर्डिंग टू स्टेबलर अकॉर्डिंग टू स्टेबलर सो फाइव प्लस लैमडा माइनस एल्फा वाई टू इज इक्वल टू फाइव वाई फोर तो ये इंपॉर्टेंट रिलेशनशिप है ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से कई बार पूछा गया है अकॉर्डिंग टू स्टेबलर वट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन सीयर एंगल फाइव फ्रिक्शन एंगल एल्फा लैमडा एंड रैक एंगल एल्फा सो फाइव प्लस लैमडा माइनस एल्फा वाई टू इज इक्वल टू फाइव वाई फोर मीन फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री so these relations are very important when you solve the numerical related to orthogonal machining thank you